Good morning, everybody. Oh, excited, excited. We got so much stuff in last night at, well, we were at the house and took us a few to get it all together, but I'm excited to show you guys so many things. We have a stack of gentlemen's magazines. There are several titles, but none of them are Hustler or Playboy. Um, these are only available to you if you are over 18 and they're $20 a piece. And if you don't like that, they're staying where they are. Uh, we couldn't even find some of these online. We've got a new tin in with our tobacco and it's the Flying Dutchman. I don't know what Papa stuck on that, but it's in spectacular shape. Um, we just so many, so many awesome things. We didn't even put them all out yet, but we had to redo the case this morning. Several new razors. Got that one, which is old hand style. Nice Remington. And this one is at 22, which is less than it was when it was bought new. <laughs> A nice brass whistle. I'm not sure which of the armed forces this particular badge is from. We got some FFA pieces. We've got some old office equipment. The RCA tube is intact. Screamingly rare because it's also still in its box. We have some killer old jacks. Some pe the really killer old Pez dispenser. I have marbles. We have marbles. So if you know anyone who has lost theirs, we have replacements. <laughs> We've got a really cool old picture puzzle that we believe still has all the pieces. The pieces are in good shape. The box is in okay condition. Dominoes, they're in really good shape. These guys are all in acceptable condition. One of them is, of course, quite a bit rougher, and that would be Buck Rogers back there. He's 25. The rest of these guys are 45 a piece. These are real. These are not fakes. These are real. I was so excited. Okay, now bear in mind they all have some age issues and Annie and Danny Daniel Boone they've got some binding problems that is something you're going to see with books that have been forgotten in a place with a humidic condition which would be Arkansas um, but they are all just really 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 cool really cool we have a one hole punch works punches holes Punches holes. Arkansas State Police Driver's License Manual from forever ago. What year was this? Da da da. In killer condition for those of you who love law enforcement, for those of you who love paper. Think we have an invitation for Murfreesboro High School. I'm going to pull this out. This is really, really for my locals. From 1946. Yeah, that's the year 1940. Oh, 1940. I'm going to learn how to read today. Just a beautiful embossed ship. I don't know why, because Murfreesboro is the Rattlers now. I don't know what it was then. There is no card in here. Joseph says there was one, but he pulled it out because he doesn't want personal things like that going out. In really, really good shape. Have, have, what is in here? Photographs. Beautiful embossed cover. And, uh, wow. Can you tell I even took a look at this stuff last night? I was so tired. The Narrows Dam? No, it's not. We haven't figured out which dam it is, though. Because um, we talked about that about 10 minutes ago. But it's not entirely full. Just really, really cool stuff. 
It was secretary's case. For those of you who don't know what that is, this would have been the lady who accompanied a lawyer to take notes before they were called stenographers. Is not a purse. It's not a purse. Smells a little bit. I haven't figured out how to clean it yet. <laughs> but in a very nice patent leather that is still in killer condition. Uh, and a very nice little lady's leather handbag that is in pretty good shape, all things said and, and done. And can I get it open? I think we hadn't figured that out yet. This one is a mystery open. We haven't figured out how to open it yet. <clears throat> Some new jewelry added into the case. No, the pearls aren't real, but they are in spectacular shape anyhow. Oh, and our smoky topaz is still here. Um, but that's probably because we've got a pretty sweet price on it and um, people don't want to pay it. I'm not negotiating on that. It's still 400 bucks. Um, what else did we get in? Oh, here's one I haven't talked about before, although we've had it a couple of weeks now is this really cute little lantern is stage lighting the reason i got so excited about it is it was made in my hometown gotta love me some portland oregon i don't know if it actually works but the light bulbs look like they are in usable shape for anybody who understands about stage lighting um i would love to know how to um test it because I, I, I don't know. Um, got a partial lantern in. It is a Deeds, but of course, is missing its light. Or its glass is gone. <clears throat> but it's in pretty good shape otherwise. For those of you who love lanterns, because who doesn't? I uh, got two new cast iron stars up here. They're ten bucks a piece. I uh, got a new. I got a, a new, oh, I got a couple of them. Oh, there are two. So I've got two double axe heads up there. They're going to be 15 a piece. I also have one with its handle still intact. That one's 25. And, and I will prove it. Look, the, yeah. this axe head is a little bit newer than the other two, but like I said, got a handle in it. Um, what else? Oh, strap. I don't. Oh, you're in good shape. I'm sure that says something. I I didn't do any research on this before I did any of this this morning. I was just so excited. Look, there went with Tori. Because it's been things leaving. And now we have things in. And I'm just so excited. So excited. We got these in a couple of days ago. Very, very cute little tea set. The only piece missing is the lid on the creamer. And they are by Murder the Name at Your Own Will. Can I even get in there? Echt? 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 Cobalt? It's German. Beautiful hand gilding. All over the exterior, every last one of these demi tosses, and completely on the insides. Hand on all of the saucers, hand done guild work. They're just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful little pieces. What did we put on the set? It's 125 for all of the pieces. And yeah, sorry about the creamer missing its lid. Oh. But the interior of the teapot is not gilded. It's just the exterior. Beautiful stuff. I love it when we get pretty things in. Here's the thing that we got in a little while ago that just came on to the floor. A little bit newer of a piece with an older feel. It does say Walmart on the bottom of the sleigh. They do go together. 20 bucks for the pair for Christmas decor, of course, or unless you're just really into reindeer sleighs, then, then you can do it all year round. Got a couple of pieces of carnival glass in. All right, uber, uber pretty. These are roses on the inside. 
The exterior is also decorated with roses and daisies. I think they're daisies. We have these two. They are done up with some kind of heart-shaped leaf vine. It's got 15 on that one. It's got a pair of ears. Um, not sure what's original intent was. Uh, and then we've got this bluish iridescent undecorated bowl, um, which would be a great little side table candy. Oh, there is something on the outside. Also looking a little bit like a daisy. Um, 15 on that one also. Those are, uh, yeah. Um, just been a great couple of days. Now these that are in here are different set than the ones I just showed you. Number one, this is a smaller set. We do have some extra pieces for this set up here. Um, they all do go together, although we're obviously missing the teapot and two, three coffee cup, teacups. Uh, I think these are, these are Bavarian. Um, and I have no idea what he put on that set, um, but I think I'd let all of the pieces to go for, say, 50 bucks. Um, for all of you who came out to our tiny tourist town and survived the incredibly ucky weather that we've had for the 4th of July, thank you. I want to thank all my neighbors for not setting anything on fire this year. And there haven't been too many animals running around wild in downtown. I do understand there are still a few that are running at large. Um, just y'all be careful. Watch yourselves. One more thing. Cute, tiny little trunk. We got 60. Oh boy, hard to see in the bright window. There we go. 60 on this trunk. Not perfect by any means, which is why the middle end price range. And uh, our bigger steamer trunk over here at 120. Um, come see me. They left me alone in the store today.